So our first pass through making the scorpion, we were able to achieve a nice finished part. And this part was actually on display at the IMTS trade show. But while it was on display, we did notice there's one piece of mismatch on the part that we thought could be improved a little bit. After IMTS, we went back in and made one more version of the scorpion with a little bit of an update. Our first version of this part ended up having some mismatch on the claw area. And ultimately in Verify, we couldn't really see any reason for it, but we decided to go back and take a look and try to fix that up. In Mastercam, if we take a look at the claw, we can see that the claw finishing is done in segments. Ultimately, there's the first segment where we are able to reach all the way around the claw with kind of a, a laid down tool axis control. Unghost this and back plot it. If I back plot this, we can see the tool is laying down and it's able to reach really deep and finish all the way around that claw about halfway across. We processed the part this way so that, again, we could support the claw with material. Basically, that depth that we were able to reach with that finish tool was how far we roughed the part. From that point, once we finished the tip of the claw, we went back and finished the tops of the claw with some support. At a glance, when you run this toolpath through Verify, there is no mismatch. The part has a perfect blend from the first toolpath to the second and third. That kind of leaves the question, why do we see mismatch on the real part? If we open the Analyze Toolpath tool, we can kind of scrub our tool across these two toolpaths and see that the tool angle on the upper half of the claw compared to the lower half of the claw is about 30 degrees different. We found that with the tool laying so parallel to the surface it's machining, the small amount of side force is enough to deflect that tool away from the part, leaving extra material. When we come back and do the second half of the claw, the tool is a little bit more perpendicular where the side force isn't able to deflect the tool quite as far. So the goal here was to come back and reprogram this claw where we can match the tool axis control a little bit better. Through some creative collision control, we were able to retract the tool toward the claw and achieve a finished part. The original claw tip finish toolpath used this clean core surface. This clean core surface is really simple, maybe a little bit too simple. In this case, we had an 80 degree side tilt on this toolpath. So we tilted the tool 80 degrees relative to this geometry, we see here 80 degrees, and used some creative collision control to retract the tool back toward that claw geometry. The problem with this clean core surface is it does not allow us to stand the tool up perpendicular enough to have that added tool rigidity. For the second version of the claw tip finish toolpath, we modeled a much more accurate clean core surface. This clean core surface, we were able to generate our tool motion at 45 degrees of tilt relative to the surface and used again, some creative collision checking as well as auto tilting to make sure the tool makes it all the way around the claw. If I go back in and turn off that clean core surface and show Analyze Toolpath again, without that clean core surface displayed, if I open Analyze Toolpath, I can run the tool again across that surface and see a much more consistent tool angle. In fact, we were able to stand the tool up a little bit more vertical on the claw tip portion, adding a little bit of tool rigidity and making sure that that claw is gonna actually finish to the proper size. So the lesson here is in Mastercam, you know, Verify shows a perfect transition from one toolpath to the next. But in the real world, there are a lot more external factors affecting, you know, there are chips, there's tool pressure, there's coolant, there's a lot of variables that you have to pay attention to. So ultimately our first revision to the Scorpion where we better controlled our tool angle on the claw tip, really cleaned up the appearance of the claw. It got rid of that transition mark and now we have a really nice Scorpion model to show for it.